Hi Michael, I've got some questions here for you that have come in from Zvezda State TV channel in Russia in relation to the deaths of uh, Diana, Princess of Wales and her suitor at the time, Dodi Al-Fayed. The first question they'd like me to put to you is, are there any indications that Prince Charles may have been involved directly in the accident that killed Diana. Apart from the letter we already know about where Diana indicates concerns for her safety, especially in relation to a motor vehicle. Uh, I was the lawyer representing Dodie's father at the inquest in London. And the answer to that question is that there is no direct evidence relating to Prince Charles other than uh, a note. The note is called the Mishkon note because that was the name of the solicitor to whom she provided the information of a belief that she had about dying in a car accident which she thought might be related to Prince Charles and his uh, relationships. M my simple point has been from the beginning that this note the Mishkon note about her fears was not revealed at the time, although the British police had it in their possession, provided by the solicitor Mishkon. And the question that has been posed, and I continue to pose, is there's no serious explanation as to why they did not hand that note immediately to the French police who were investigating the accident because... If somebody dies in a way they have predicted and names certain individuals, the investigators would naturally want to, as it were, follow that up at the time. Following it up later is probably too late. And that's what should have happened and it didn't. Okay, so we, we're all aware that Diana indicated in her note um, that there would be some accident, most probably in a car, how do you think she'd have known about that? Is there some chance that she may have found some evidence of that? Well, that is an interesting question as to why she had that fear. I think she had the fear because of the relationship that she had with the royal family as a whole and because of uh, Prince Charles's own relationship with Camilla. She felt that she was being ousted whether she had particular information, I don't know. Because a lot of documentation relating to her and her existence at Kensington Palace has gone missing. It was known in the inquest as the Crown Jewels. Would it be fair to say, though, that if uh, the royal family and Prince Charles himself were directly involved in some way in Diana's death, um, that the notes Diana had left behind would surely have been found by people going through her things after she died and would surely have been removed. Well, this note we're talking about was handed to her solicitor. She went to the solicitor and spoke to him. He kept it and after the death he handed it to the police. There was another note she also left for her butler, uh, Mr. Burrell. Now that wasn't handed to the police, but it was in fact revealed by him much later in a newspaper who serialised his book. It's a question for him in relation to that note. That are, those are the only notes that I know about. She did speak about dying in a, an accident of this kind to many different people, so it was confirmed by all sorts of her confidants and friends that that was an overriding fear she had. Okay. Now obviously much has been made of whether Diana was or was not pregnant, um, specifically by Dodi Al-Fayed. We know her, bond was in, her body was embalmed incredibly quickly. Do we know if there's any evidence at all that Diana might have been pregnant prior to her death? Once again, it's uh, very difficult to discover any direct evidence 
that suggests that she was, only that if there were evidence, it uh, was would have been very difficult to discover. Again, I have a different point. It's not a question of whether she was pregnant, but whether the establishment in the United Kingdom were concerned that she might be. In other words, a perception that she might be. And could the risk be run that she might be pregnant rather than whether she actually was as being one of the reasons for uh, this? Well, it wasn't an accident. The jury didn't say that it was. Okay. According to Zvezda, uh, state TV channel Russia, uh, they say that some investigators consider that possibly Dodi was the target of the accident. What are your thoughts on that? Is that a possibility? And why might he be a sole target? Well, I, I, I can't answer the question as to whether he particularly was targeted. It would be very difficult to extricate him as a target without damaging Diana. The two would have to go together. The real point here is that the relationship between Dodie and Diana was undoubtedly uh, one that disquieted the establishment because the thought of a Muslim becoming, as it were, heir to the throne or in, in any, that is, if there were, uh, were to be a birth or a relationship with a Muslim family as part of the royal family, although she'd been herself, as it were, uh, demoted. She was no longer Her Royal Highness. So I think it was the nature of the relationship which did not, they did not want to stain on, on the reputation. Michael Mansfield QC, thank you very much. This is Vet Greenway reporting for Zvezda State TV channel, Russia. Thank you.